all of his T5s can now be upgraded one more time. We go ahead and look at it. Instead of crippled Moab, we can now get disabled Moab, which is $90,000. 500 plus damage to Moab. Ultra Sniper, Elite Assassin, and then eventually the bottom fourth path, which goes to Unholy Retribution, made by Porygon Z. I'm a fan of the Sniper Monkeys. They're fun to use. They're just nice. The global range, little bit slow to start. And we can immediately go for X-Rays of Vision. Allows the Sniper Monkey to see through all obstacles. Okay, that didn't really matter. I think we just go faster firing for now. I'll probably have to get Banana Farms just because, like... <laughs> The, I mean, getting T6 towers are going to be really expensive. Okay, I'll put my banana farms over here in the bushes. I'm really excited for this ultra sniper. All snipers get two times attack speed. That means every single sniper now shoots two times as fast. So, yeah, we definitely want to get that relatively quickly, if not, like, the first thing that we get because i feel like that's what's gonna make it just so much stronger all right i'm gonna get even faster firing on this guy so he can just start going crazy on these balloons look at him go i think sniper monkeys are great middle game towers that's what i think they are right like i super late game they pretty much fall off just because like they're not that great Right, like they're pretty good, but like ultra late game they fall off. In early game, they're just not that great because they attack so slowly. So you need to be able to have a couple of other supporting towers. Like as you can see, we're already like losing lives here, right? Like, oh wait, no, we didn't actually lose a single life. <laughs> That's crazy. Does more damage, pops lead balloons, and increases shrapnel popping power. Overall, goaded. One thing that I really like about snipers is they complement each other really well. And that's the one thing that I think is really important with towers is having each like path be able to work well together, like synergize, right? Fly drop does really well at dealing with large groups of balloons, right? Like large swarms of them, but really bad at single target damage. Whereas top pass sniper monkey is goaded at single target damage, right? Like that's all he does, but swarms of balloons, he ain't gonna be able to cut it out, right? So you put these two menaces together and you can defend pretty much anything. So let's take a look at this new sniper monkey. X-ray vision allows the sniper monkey to see through all obstacles. Okay, that's amazing. So that makes this sniper monkey insane on certain maps. Like some maps you just can't use sniper monkeys, but I bet this would actually make him broken on certain maps. So incendiary bullets, sniper bullets set balloons on fire and can pop lead. So that's pretty epic already. Let's get another central market because we have $26,000. And so, impact rounds. Bullets push back balloons, do plus one damage, and crit every 10 shots. All right, I feel like we want this guy to target strong. Look at that. Oh, look at it. does push back balloons. And it sets them all on fire. Okay, that's really strong, actually. Next upgrade is burst rifle. Let's see what this burst rifle is all about. So, burst rifle is... Shoots two sniper bullets in quick succession and bullets shock balloons. Does it have like, oh, am I, I'm looking for a shock effect here. You can kind of see it where it like bounces. Oh, that's so cool. You can see the bounce effect with it. I don't know if it's this guy bouncing or not. All right, this is probably going to be like a huge waste of money, but I want to just see what this guy does on his own time. So do we want to give it faster firing? I feel like, let's see, slow bleed sniper. Sniper's bullets now gradually bleed balloons, increase damage for bigger balloons, and, sh and shoots plus one bullet per burst. Burn, shock, and knockback are more powerful. I think we want to mix this with just faster firing. I just want to see, I'm going to sell these and see how they do. Holy cow. So he's really bad. He's really bad against large swarms of balloons. So that's definitely where you want to be able to have good old supply drop. So supply drop does it, but look at this. He actually puts the balloons on fire. Having him attack strong is pretty... Wait, what happens if we just have him target first? Is that the play? I think just also having him target strong is a better option. Look at this. He just like puts them all on fire. I like that. Okay, so that was definitely a huge waste of money, but I kind of felt like it was important to see what that does. Let's get all of the T4 snipers, actually. So, let's have them all down. I guess we can put this guy over here. So, faster firing, even faster, semi-automatic, full auto rifle. And what is better? Full metal jacket? Do we want single target damage? Hmm. What, what is the final full auto? Elite assassin. 66 faster attack speed, 6 MOAB damage, and leaking lives makes the sniper attack 5 times faster for 10 seconds. Man, shrapnel could be pretty crazy for this. But large... 
I, I really feel like Full Metal Jacket's actually gonna be the, the play here. And these guys are just gonna go insane. So Elite Sniper. So now we have to get Ultra Sniper, which is $72,000. So all snipers get two times attack speed. Ability. Gives two plus 2,500 cash, has 25% cooldown, and activates all other supply drop abilities. Do we... I kind of want to just get, like, a row of them. So we'll just get a couple of these. It's already going to get crazy. Having all of these supply drop snipers are going to be epic. Okay, we are getting no more supply drops. I guess I'll just use this. $3,000. All right, let's save up now. It's time for the Ultra Sniper. Do we get all of the T5s first? I think we should get each T5 or each T6 in a, in a line, in like in a row. So how much money do we get when we use this ability? We're at $40,000. So it gives us like $10,000. That's pretty cool. I really hope that this Ultra Sniper thing actually gives all of them 25% cooldown. Because that's a lot of money. And also two times attack speed for all snipers is an insane upgrade. We're about to get it as well. Ultra Sniper, $72,000. Okay, before we get it though, I wanna use this ability because I think it resets the ability and I think that's a huge waste of money. Nice, okay, so Ultra Sniper, let's go. Whoa, he looks sick. He looks, he's like red, I love that. All right, so now all snipers get times two attack speed. So this one just comes off cooldown way faster. And then how much money does it give? 5,500. Not bad, my friends. Not bad at all. Elite Defender, and now Elite Assassin. So, Elite Assassin. 66% six, six, faster attack speed, plus 6 MOAB damage, and leaking lives makes the sniper attack. So, let's just get Elite targeting, I guess. Yeah, we want them to be always attacking MOABs, though. I think that's, like, the play. So, let's go ahead. We can now get the Elite Assassin. All right, I'm down. Oh, yo, he gets, like, green. Oh, they're already looking so cool. They're looking so good. Actually, let's go ahead and get this one. Because I feel like this guy, he's not doing that much. And we should upgrade him. We should make him even better. So, Slow Bleed Sniper. So, Sniper Bullets now gradually bleed balloons with increased damage for bigger balloons and shoots plus one bullet per burst. So now he shoots three. Burn, shock, and knockback are more powerful. And then unholy retribution, which is $115,000. So shoots plus two bullets per burst. So that's five bullets. So it should be like blum, 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 and buffs burn and shock. Bullet leaves a wall of fire on the ground, creating arcing thunder that applies all tier five status effects, slows most balloons hit, and hexes all balloon units. What an absolute madness of an upgrade and ability. What an absolute insanely powerful ability. All right, we need to, all right, let's go up. Let's get round 80. Let's see how we, that was a ZOMG. That was okay. Uh, yeah, so I think we're, I, I'm really interested to see how far these snipers can get, actually. So, Unholy Retribution, let's upgrade it, and let's see, oh, look, at he just leaves a wall of fire with him when he shoots now. All right, he's at 10,000 pops. It'll be really interesting to see, like, what he, what he falls back on, right? All right, now we can go ahead, we can get May Moab, Cripple Moab, and then Disable Moab. Plus 500 damage and Moab class balloons are vulnerable to plus 50 damage and disabled. That is madness. That is absolute madness. Okay, let, I don't, balloons aren't even spawning and we're in like round 90. Round 95, let's see what happens here. Is anything gonna happen? Are any balloons even gonna think about like showing up? This sniper monkey now has 80,000 pops. So he already popped up quite a bit. They're not even spawning. All right, let's get just... Okay, that's the that's the sickest tower for sure. This one's the coolest looking. Oh, look at the lightning. You can see the lightning arc on it. The arching. Arcing? I think it's arcing lightning. Let's just see what happens against a BAD. What? Where, where'd it go? Did the BAD literally already get popped? And look at how far... So we let the balloons go by so he gets the bonus attack speed. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Let's get permabrew. Nice. Is he going to be able to look at this? Oh my gosh. It's so good. So the arc lightning, look at this. Look at They let the balloons by and then, oh, no way. Since we have a problem with ceramics, we need to change this elite assassin. 
I know it sounds crazy, but I actually think we need to take this elite assassin and give the elite assassin shrapnel shot. Let's try that out. Let's see if the elite assassin with shrapnel shot can make a difference. All right, round 140, fortified BAD. It's gone. This sniper monkey's crazy. He has Azili's hex. He just hexes fortified BADs and they just pop. All right, fine. Round 200. Let's see how he does against this one. Ah. Oh. Oh. He annihilates it. Gone. No way. Are they going to do it? Oh, come on. I'm done. Guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you tomorrow with some more awesome content. Peace.